Ross. They got it away from the get-go. Maximilian Paul gave it everything to try and defend against the onslaught from Charlie Fagg. Did so successfully in the immediate. Of course, it wasn't just them they had to worry about. Of course, further back, Diego Menchaca, unfortunately not getting the best of runs. But Carol Bash met with Eddie Cheever as well in the initial, who had a monstrous stint, unfortunately, for Seabair uh, and, and Mancheca. They went out wide afterwards. Kiki Santana had an unfortunate end as well in the opening stages, coming into contact with the tyre barrier that lurched forward the safety car. But then under green flag conditions, it was all down to the Oregon team car to boot to lead them away. Further back then, Chiba would then challenge that of Carol Bash. Bash wasn't wasting any time, looked to try and get the place back and certainly did so, heading out of the chicane at the middle of the Mistral straight. And then when the driver change window came into effect, it was the turn of the other drivers to try and set a precedence. Of course, in place of Maximilian Paul, Pierre-Louis Chauvet would take the helm of the car for the second stint. And then it was all down to Eddie Cheever, who, of course, would swap out for Marco Polcini. He would come together with Nicolo Rossi and Nicolo Shiro's car as they ventured through out of the initial corners, heading through the initial chicanes, heading through then towards the Mistral straight. It would be down to Pierre-Louis Chauvet to try and move his way up the field as well as he looked to try and challenge for the higher results. There would be, of course, some, some contact as well later on, as uh, we certainly saw that of Martin Jedlinski meet Nicola Marinangeli earlier on as well. Marinangeli would also make contact as well with Pietro Pirellini heading through that fast right-hander coming out of Bousset. That, of course, allowing Mikhail Pitamba to creep through past Giorgio Sinagiotto. We then saw as well this battle ensue. Down the inside came Pierre-Louis Chauvet, but made contact there straight away with Sam Dahan in the closing stages of the race. And with only minutes to go, Sam Dahan controlled it. He led the way right from that point in the race, right to the very end, took the chequered flag to give them a much-deserved race win after the hardships at Hungary last time out.